Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video we are going to solve another very very interesting question from radical equations. So let's get started by writing here our equation as cube root of, I will use a plus b whole square formula here and a plus b whole square formula here. So we will get x square plus 4x plus 4. Here I will be writing cube root of x square as it is equal to 2 times cube root of x square plus 2x plus 1 and then we have another plus 1. Now I can write cube root of x square plus 4x plus 4 plus cube root of x square equal to 2 times cube root of x square plus 2x plus 2. Now I will consider our substitution. Let us say our first radicand x square plus 4x plus 4 equal to a cube and x square equal to b cube. Now I will calculate the value of a cube plus b cube also. So this we will be writing x square plus 4x plus 4 plus x square which will give us 2x square plus 4x plus 4 or I can take 2 common out in the bracket, we will get x square plus 2x plus 2. So from this equation, I can write the value of x square plus 2x plus 2, which will be x square plus 2x plus 2. This will be equal to a cube plus b cube over 2. So here I can write a cube plus b cube over 2. Let us write our equation. I will write cube root of a cube plus cube root of b cube equal to 2 times cube root of a cube plus b cube over 2. Now we will multiply in the numerator and denominator by 4. So I can write RHS as 2 times cube root of 4 times a cube plus b cube over 8. Or I can write 2 times cube root of 4 times a cube plus b cube over cube root 8. Now cube root 8 is 2. So I can write 2 times cube root of 4 times a cube plus b cube over 2. Now this 2 and 2 will be over. Now we can cancel cube root and cube also from LHS. We will be getting a plus b equal to cube root of 4 times a cube plus 4 times b cube. I will write here equation a plus b equal to cube root of 4 times a cube plus 4 times b cube. Now we will consider cubing both sides. Whole cube, whole cube. Now cube root and cube will be cancelled out from RHS. We will write our equation a plus b whole cube equal to 4a cube plus 4b cube. Now I will use 
a plus b whole cube formula which will give us a cube plus b cube plus 3 times ab in the bracket a plus b equal to 4a cube plus 4b cube. Now we will take all the terms to RHS. So 4a cube minus a cube. I will write 3a cube. 4b cube minus b cube. I will write plus 3b cube. And then the whole term with sign change. So I will write minus 3ab times a plus b equal to 0. Now equation is looking divisible by 3. So we will divide this equation by 3. We will get a cube plus b cube minus ab a plus b equal to 0. Now again I can use a cube plus b cube formula. So I will write a plus b times a square minus ab plus b square minus ab times a plus b equal to 0. Now we can take a plus b common out. So in the bracket I will write a square minus ab plus b square minus ab equal to 0. Minus ab minus ab minus 2ab. We will write a plus b times a square plus b square minus 2ab equal to 0. Or I can write a plus b times this is a minus b whole square equal to 0. So from this equation I can write either a plus b equal to 0 or a minus b whole square equal to 0. So from first equation I will get a equal to minus b. And from second equation I can write a equal to b. Now if you remember our substitution was this was a cube and mm. this was b cube. Let me write here a equal to minus b and a equal to b. This radicant was a cube and radicant x square was b cube. So I will calculate cube both sides or let us put power 3 both sides. I will get a cube equal to minus b cube and here also a cube equal to b cube. Let us put the values. a cube is x plus 2 whole square. So I will write x square plus 4x plus 4. This is equal to minus x square. Or I can write 2x square plus 4x plus 4 equal to 0. Or I can divide this equation by 2. So x square plus 2x plus 2 equal to 0. Or I can write x square plus 2x equal to minus 2. Now I can add 1 to both sides plus 1 plus 1. So left hand side will become x plus 1 whole square and RHS will be negative 1. The square is negative and we know that i square is minus 1. So I can write i square. Now we will take a square root both sides. We will get x plus 1 equal to plus minus i. Now by subtracting 1 from both the sides, we will get x equal to minus 1 plus minus i. Two complex solutions. Now I will solve second equation a cube equal to b cube. I will write here a cube equal to b cube. a cube was 
x plus 2 whole square. So x square plus 4x plus 4. B cube was second radicand x square. This was B cube. This was A cube. Now we can cancel x square with x square. So 4x plus 4 equal to 0. Or I can write 4x is equal to minus 4. After dividing by 4 both sides, we will be getting our final answer x equal to negative 1. So we are having one real solution and two complex solutions. Let me write here x equal to negative 1 and negative 1 plus minus i. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe our channel. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye-bye.